hello beautiful people happy sunday i just want to come through of course to um, leave some encouragement and i was in there um as i was in there studying it was just on my heart and my actually even yesterday it was just like talk about faith so we're gonna come back to faith talk about faith just increase your faith increase your faith trust in trust in the lord like you have to trust in the Lord and have faith. Have faith in God. Have faith in God just like you have faith in 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 the TV. Like as you have faith in the TV, trust in God and have faith in God just like you have faith in the TV as you're watching your game. Like you have faith that your game whatever team you're for cowboys i'm sure but whatever team you're 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 um you're a fan of or going for you have faith that it's tell that the tv will um air or show that game and it came to me it was just like have faith in god like you got to put your faith put your trust in the lord the same way or as just like you hear the the, the cars the motorcycles and stuff when you get ready to leave and go you have faith that that car is going to start is that the, the vehicle will get you to your your destination wherever you're going have faith in god he was just uh, the holy spirit was just telling me talk about that have faith activate your faith increase your faith and i was right i was studying on that uh as i was studying yesterday and friday um on faith it was just like faith and trust faith and trust trust in the lord trust in the lord with all your heart and then this morning for service it came right back the the minister came um came right back in or was talking about faith so it was just like yes faith 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 you gotta have faith it's impossible to please god it is impossible to please god without faith it's impossible you have to have you gotta have faith as god increase my faith father lord strengthen my faith strengthen my faith and as I was in there and I was just sitting there and, and talking to God and just, I know I'm going to get emotional. I'm telling you, God is so good. He had put it on my heart and mind. He was just like, you could just believe. Like God is, gonna, God is going to do it. He's going to do it for you. God, he is going to do it. God is going to do it. He's going to do it. You just got to have faith. You got to believe. Trust in the Lord. And I was just sitting in there thinking, and I was just like, wow. Like, I could see it, God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I could see it. Like, the land that God has promised us. You gotta have faith. What promises are you holding on to? What promises are you expecting God to fulfill in your life? His word will not return to him void. You have to have you some promises. And I was just sitting in there, oh my God, I thank you, Jesus. I was just telling God thank you and praising him. And he was like, get up there, share it, share it, talk about it. And I was just sitting there imagining, and I was just like, wow, God. Wow. I'm just imagining the acres and acres and acres of land that God has blessed me with. I can see myself there. And it was like, God, you did just what you said you were going to do. Like now this land. I can see the communities. Woo! Where I'm able to build the houses, build homes for the less fortunate. Where I can give that to them. For people that, that can never imagine being a homeowner. I can see it. I can see it. And I was just in there thanking God like, God, thank you. As if it's, it, it, it has already manifested. See, you got to have faith. You got to have faith and believe. You have to have faith and believe. Don't put no limits on God. Like what? What is she talking about? I just I thought a few um, videos ago she said she didn't even have a home when she was going through this, so she had everything taken. How is she sitting here talking about building a home, building homes in the community for the less fortunate when she don't even have it? Because I have faith. Because I have faith. Because I believe. Because I believe. Because I trust in the Lord. And I know that God is going, he's going to do it. And it's not about me. It's not about me. Whew. I say it all the time. I say it all the time. 
I like to see people happy. I love to see people blessed. I love to see others smiling. Smile. Smile, encourage others. That gives me joy. Huh. That gives me joy so it's not about me. Huh. It is not about me. I can see God blessing me with the land that I'm able to build on to give to others. Can you imagine? Can you just imagine? Woo! Can you just imagine getting others a home? We can say this is your home. You are a homeowner. You are a homeowner. This is yours. Woo! It's yours. I'm telling you, I was in Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 8. I encourage you to read it. I encourage you to meditate on it. Meditate on his word day and night. Meditate on his word day and night. Get you some promises to hold on to and believe God. Trust in the Lord. I'm telling you, God is so good. God is so good. I was in there. I was so happy. Of course, I was crying and I was praising him and I was worshiping him because I was like, God, whoo, I'll be able to bless uh, so many families. So many families. Do you not know so many people out here that wish they could say they own the home? There's so many people that wish they had a place to stay. Ooh. And I was like, God, God, I know you're going to do it. I know it's going to come to pass. I have faith. I have faith, God, and I know your word. It's, you said, God, you promised me to give me the land, every place. Woo, that the sole of my foot step on it. God, you will give it to me. I was just like, God, I believe, I believe, I believe, God, I believe. I believe, God, I believe. I believe, God, I believe, I believe. I trust you, God. I trust you, God. I trust you, God. I know a land flowing with milk and honey. I was in there reading. Deuteronomy says, Therefore you shall keep the commandments of the Lord your God to walk in his ways and to fear him. For the Lord your God is bringing you into a good land. A good land, Jesus. Woo! God, I thank you, Jesus. A land of brooks of water, of fountains and springs that flow out of valleys and hills. A land of wheat and barley, of vines and fig trees and pomegranates. A land of olive oil and <laughs> Jesus. Glory be to God. I'm telling you, I got so excited. I got so excited just reading it because I can see it. I can imagine it. I can, oh, God, I thank you, Jesus. I know it's going to come to pass. It will come to pass. Honey, a land in which you will eat bread without scarcity, in which you will lack nothing. Woo. Woo. A land in which you will lack nothing. You say you will lack nothing. Oh, God, I thank you, Jesus. But you got to also remember in Deuteronomy 8 and 10, when you have eaten and are full, then you shall bless the Lord your God for the good land which he has given you. Beware, do not forget the Lord your God by not keeping his commandments. Deuteronomy 8 and 11, do not forget God. Don't forget God. Remain humble. Remain humble. It's not by your power. It's not by your might. I don't care what job you have. I don't care what title you hold. I'm telling you, my God, whoo, my God whoo, can do anything, anything but fail. My God can do the impossible. My God can do the impossible. So I'm telling you, enlarge your territory. Think big. My God is big. My God is big. So I encourage you to just increase your faith. Increase your faith. Love on each other. Love one another. Smile today. And have a great day. I love you all.